Hi everybody, Sean Goodsell here, high performance coach, mental toughness trainer with The Mental Edge, and I'm excited because I'm going to teach you how to become more mentally tough. I know that at some point in your career, somebody has told you that you need to become more confident, you need to, you know, get out of your head and try to play more creatively or, you know, play with more confidence or develop greater focus. And um, I have heard players for over 15 years tell me about uh, how difficult it's been for them to know how to become more mentally tough. You know, if you tune into any sports station, whether it be a radio or TV, you can barely listen to an interview or listen to a commentator without them mentioning something about mental toughness. So there's no... There's no secret about the fact that mental toughness is talked about on a regular basis, but rarely is mental toughness taught about. So in these short videos, I'm going to highlight something different about mental toughness. And by the time I'm, by the time I'm done, I'm going to give you a practical uh, thing you can do today to be on your journey, to be and get closer to the kind of mental toughness that you want to exhibit in your game. Now, I was never a mentally tough athlete when I played. I was overwhelmed by fear. My anxiety was off the scales. My confidence was at all time low. Uh, my mind was wandering all over the place. And that's part of the reason why I have invested in and uh, worked hard at learning these principles, not just for myself, but so that I can pass them on and teach them to you in a very practical way. These are the same principles that I use when I talk to the Olympic and professional players I work with, and they're the ones that I want you to be on your way of, to learning because I know of the power that you will possess as your mind becomes stronger and more capable of managing deal and dealing with disappointment, discouragement, and adversity. So let's start by defining what it means to be mentally tough. Mental, mental toughness is the ability to be at your best regardless of the circumstances. And I've worked with enough players over the years to know that there are different uh, situations that cause problems and challenges for different players. Some players have a difficult time getting prepared and staying focused uh, in games that appear to be more meaningless. And other players have a more difficult time dealing with and being at their best when they're playing the rivalry game, the big game, the, the games that count the most. So if you are one of those people who wants to learn how to, you know, change your mindset and become more mentally tough, then this Mastering Mental Toughness series is for you. And um, to get started, I want to give you two principles, two things you can start doing today to um, strengthen your mind so you can be at your best when it counts the most. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to change your mind. Changing your mind means that you, you, you decide to think about something different. Uh, and the first thing I want you to think about differently is I want you to think about your struggles differently. I want you to think about your disappointments differently. Every athlete, every hockey player has a hard time in some point of their career. Every player deals with a lack of confidence at times. Every player deals with wondering if they're going to you know, be able to be their best in that moment they want to be their best. So your struggle isn't unique. It's not, you know, it's not like you're the only one that struggles. But the mentally tough athlete sees their struggle as something that's beneficial rather than something that's not. In the same way that you go to the gym and you use resistance and weight and you use it as something beneficial to training your body to become stronger. That's the same way you need to see your adversity or your moments of disappointment and struggle because those things are things you can use to improve your strength as opposed to you know, reveal or show your weakness. So that's the first point of application. Today, make a decision to change your mind about your struggle. Secondly, you need to change your form about your struggle. You know, when you go to the gym and you see people using resistance and weight with the hopes of becoming stronger, the one thing that will hurt them is if they don't use proper form. I want you to think of your mindset 
how you approach things as your form. And if your form isn't, you know, proper or healthy or, or good, then your weight or your resistance can become something that injures you versus advances you. Uh, so today there's just two things, two things I want you to do. I want you to, in the next week, every time you face a struggle or a moment of adversity, I want you to remember that Sean said, change your mind about that. Think about it differently. And then secondly, uh, in thinking about it differently, understand that when you think about adversity or struggle differently, the mindset you bring to that is a different form and it allows you then to use that struggle or adversity to build strength. So mental toughness is the ability to be at your best regardless of circumstances. Building strength of mind requires that you change your mind about your struggle and you change your form concerning your struggle. If you will do these things, if you will begin your process towards mastering these two things, you will be on your journey to becoming more mentally tough. Now, next week, we're going to launch a video entitled Becoming Unshakably Confident. If you're like a lot of players, at some point in your career, your confidence has struggled, and I'm going to teach you the important principles of making sure that your confidence is unshakable. So tune in next week when we will uh, launch a new video on cultivating unshakable confidence. But this week, my hope for you is that you will change your mind about your struggle and be on your way to growing mental toughness. Thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next week.